This is Anthony Gucciardi with a disturbing yet highly important message surrounding the government attack and overall assault now on church groups that are going out and trying to feed the homeless. Sometimes it's 5,000 meals a month, sometimes it's 10,000 meals a month or more. Now specifically, this all started back on November 29th when we told you through StoryLeak.com, my website, and it was also posted up on InfoWars.com and highly syndicated out, that there was a church group going out for Thanksgiving and trying to feed homeless individuals, men and women, with Thanksgiving meals that they normally would not be able to get or afford. And the park ranger came over and told them they needed to leave and that they were not allowed to feed the homeless. So we were contacted on this story and, you know, it was, we thought, an isolated incident. We thought it was, you know, showing the decline of society, the insanity of the police and how they believe their power is to be used to assert over church groups feeding homeless. But unfortunately, I am sad to say, we have now been flooded with emails and have an exclusive new source. Uh, yesterday night, Mikhail Thalen, the writer over at StoryLeak that I work with, he contacted me. Another church group, this time that feeds 5,000 individuals a month, has been shut down, and the government is in the process of issuing an ordinance just to make them stop feeding 5,000 homeless individuals a month. And here's why. This is really, really nefarious. So there's 5,000 individuals that come every month for their meals that cannot afford it, the homeless men and women. The government, the police in this area, this is in... Uh, Olympia, Washington. The other case was in Palm Beach County. So in Olympia, Washington, the police are saying that there's so many homeless men and women that are getting fed for free by this church group called Crazy Faith that they're blocking traffic in some instances because there's a line and they sometimes may get near the road. That's their reason for shutting them down and saying you're not allowed to feed the homeless, you're not allowed to use government property to do anything, and you're not even allowed to go out on your own terms and feed homeless people anymore because you can mess with traffic. It's just like in Dallas when they told us we can't hold a sign near a road. Near a road. Near any road that's somewhat busy. And that's in the entirety of Dallas. These ordinances are truly insane. But now this, it gets worse. We thought, okay, that's another incident. Now we're getting emails from all these church groups saying, yes, the same thing's happening. It's either the park rangers or the police. They're all shutting us down saying we can't feed the homeless anymore. This is absolute insanity, and this affects me personally. I always go out and I try to give, actually, you know, homeless people on individual level some food here and there when I actually find them. And the key thing is to not give money to these homeless individuals because I'd say the good majority of them, you know, they understand what's going on. They actually are down on their luck. But you ask any expert on the subject, they always say, yeah, you have to give them food, not money, because some of them might have drug issues. So that's what we're doing. The police now are saying, don't give them food, don't give them anything. If you're going to give them something, you can give them a gift of money or donation. But don't do that anywhere where we can see it because you're ruining traffic. This is ludicrous. And I am doing my best right now to push this into a national headline issue. I believe that we can come together and wake people up because the reality is, I'd say 99% of the country understands this is ludicrous. 99% of the country understands that targeting church groups for feeding homeless people is not the activity that the United States government should be pursuing. I'm Anthony Gucciardi. You'll find this video up on my site, StoryLeak.com, as well as InfoWars.com. I encourage you to share this information, share the articles, and share the news. We need to make this a national issue. Church groups are now being tar targeted along with other nonprofits. The emails are rolling in. The reports are rolling in. The exclusive comments and everything, they're all coming in. This is a purge during the holiday season against feeding the homeless. I'm encouraging you to share this article and get the word out because if we can't put a stop to it now, it will only grow and become even more insane.